Okay, so here's my project for the day. A couple of years back, I installed these star lights, these LED lights that were originally powered by solar batteries. And I had them come on at night and they look very pretty. We loved them, but the problem with landscaping solar is they suck. The batteries don't last. The solar panels get faded out and then the batteries leak. But what I have in my yard is low voltage LED landscaping lights. These are powered by a low voltage transformer over there at the side of the house. And I have this long run hooked to a 15 volt tap that I want that uh, comes on every night. So what I need to do is tap these LED star lights into that run so that every night when everything else comes on, I want these lights to come on as well. The problem that I'm facing is that the voltage taps put out 15 volts and these solar driven star lights powered by three AA batteries that unit was only putting out 3.6 volts and the voltage is DC whereas my low voltage landscaping puts out AC. So I need to hook in these 3.6 volts DC light into an existing 12 volt or 15 volt AC. And so here's what I have. I Google for a very long time on the internet and chat groups everywhere to find out anyone has done this and I could not find anything that described the whole process in one article or one video. I had to get pieces of information here and there and pull it all together and applying what little I remember from high school electronics over 35 years ago. Um, this is what I found out I think is gonna be the best solution. This is a rectifier. This would take AC voltage in and produce DC voltage out. This is what's designed for outdoor use. In fact, on the packaging here, it says 12 AC voltage in, 12 volts out DC, rated for 72 watts. Now, the star lights that I'm driving, they're 100 little lights and I can't imagine those lights are probably more than a fraction of a watt. I'll have to do some measuring and looking up later to find out. But if you look at the packaging here, look at that. It even shows in their illustration that this is the intended use of their rectifier to attach an LED light strip into an existing low voltage system. So I have a rectifier that will convert 12 volt AC and 12 to, volt, to 12 volt DC. Now, as I mentioned before, my AC line that I'm tapping into is actually connected to a 15 volt tap in my transformer. I'm hoping that with the distance of the transformer and the, and the load that is on it up until the point where I'm going to connect into it, my voltage drop will be such that it won't be a full 15 when it reaches the rectifier. So hopefully I'm going to be well within tolerance of this device. In addition to the rectifier, I also have this thing that they call a buck converter that converts DC voltage in of some value and will put out DC voltage out of a lower value. This one is a variable buck converter. There's a little screw at the bottom that allows you to dial in the exact output voltage that you want. And if we can see here in the labeling, it'll accept 8 to 22 volts in DC and can output anywhere between 1 to 15 volts out DC. And as we said earlier, the total battery pack that was produced by the solar starlight with three AA batteries, each at 1.2 volts, 900 milliamps, in series, that battery pack was outputting 3.6 volts in 100 milliamps. So 
I'm pretty well, I have plenty of range here between one and 15 to be able to dial out the voltage that I actually want, which is gonna be no more than 3.6 volts DC to power my light. And what I have here is a junction box that I'm gonna drill some holes in so that I can put everything inside of here, waterproof, so that I can put all of this underneath the deck, out of mind, out of sight, and that's my project. So let's get going. Okay, so I've hooked up all my terminals. I went out and bought a pack of these bullet splice style terminals and I connected them to each of the ends of the wires that are ultimately going to be uh, connected. So uh, if I should ever have to replace any of these components down the line, my hope is I'll be able to just simply pull things apart, snap them back together. Um, this set of wire here goes to the light. Now one of the first thing I did was ran continuity testing with a multimeter to make sure that the light itself should still function, meaning when I put a continuity meter in there, I had a complete circuit so that I know that there's not a break in the wire anywhere or that hopefully none of my LED star lights are defective or not working because my guess is or my hope is that would have break the circuit and my continuity meter would let me know that before I go too far into this project. So I ran a continuity test on my circuit here and my indications are the light itself and the light wiring itself is still good. Now here, this is the, this is a branch of my 15 uh, volts, low voltage, um, landscaping uh, power. This is a branch off the 15 volt run from the power supply. Now up until this point where I have this branch to here, I have about 11 watts worth of lights connected. The load of those lights ver uh, along with the length of the run, I was hoping to get a voltage drop closer to 12, which is what the rectifier is spec to accept as an input AC volts. And here I have the rectifier hooked up to my AC uh, power source from the tap itself. Here I used the old wire cast because the cables were, I'm guessing, 12 gauge and, they, and 14 gauge. So a wire cap uh, made the connection very snug, very firm. I'm, I'm happy with that. And so here the AC power in into the rectifier and on this end here is the DC power out. I put a cap on one end here so that I wouldn't uh, short the circuit uh, by touching these two ends when I didn't want to. Um, I, put I put this on a multimeter and measured DC volts coming out and I got 11.98, uh, 1199, even 12 um, DC volts. I would have shown you the actual reading itself, but I can't hold the, uh, the phone in um, due to measuring um, myself. I'm the only one here. But when I measured this, I had a little over 13 coming in AC through the rectifier. And coming out of the rectifier DC, I had almost 12 volts DC out. So this device is doing what it's supposed to do by converting my low voltage AC to low voltage DC which will then allow me to hook it up to the buck converter so that I can then step down the DC volt from 12 volts to what I really need to power my star lights, which is supposed to be no more than 3.6 volts DC. And here we are again. This time I have my buck converter connected to the DC out of my rectifier. So I got around 12 volts coming in to the buck converter. And on the bottom here, I've dialed this in offline, um, hooked up to a, my multimeter, and dialed it down to about 3.5 volts, uh, which is what my light was expecting. My light was expecting 3.6, but I always like to give a little headroom just to make sure uh, before I, uh, I adjust the voltage out. But I put a multimeter on the DC out here, the part where it's, it's supposed to be been, um, adjusted down to 3.6 or less. So now the only thing left to do is to hook the wires to the lights onto here and hopefully it'll, um, it'll power things up very nicely. When I've confirmed that the lights work, then I'll put all of this into my junction box here. 
and securely plug everything in. If you notice, I left a little bit of wire metal exposed because I, I know I'm going to take this apart eventually and before I do the final placement in the, um, in the junction box. But for now, time is to hook up the lights and see if they come on. So I have the lights hooked up. I did a continuity testing earlier to make sure that my light circuit itself was still good. Hooked into the output of my buck converter that I've dialed down to 3.5 uh, volts. Hooked into the rectifier, which has DC out, converted from AC in for my low voltage landscaping circuit. And look up here, the lights are on. Get away from the sun there. Let's see what we got. The lights are on, nice and bright. Uh, I look forward to tonight when we can see everything uh, shining in the dark. But the lights are on as uh, that's what I hoped it would be. So now it's time for me to uh, put everything together in this final place. And so here it is, my final assembly for the, uh, the circuit to hook my 3.6 volt um, DC LED light string to my low voltage um, AC um, landscaping run. Everything's put together. Here's the, uh, the rectifier that converts AC to DC, the buck converter that was stepped down to 12 volt DC to the 3.6 or lower that I need for my light. Um, I kind of screwed up here. Uh, I only wanted to drill one hole for everything, but because I got the size wrong, I had to drill two, but at least that allows me to keep my AC and my DC circuit separated. At least that's my story and I'm sticking with it. Um, I'm sure some of you have already realized this, I also have, is what I basically built here is an LED driver, a 12 volt LED driver, except this device allows me to convert 12 volt AC to some DC volt lower than 12 or even 12 if I needed it. I would have loved to buy one that was prefabricated for outdoors, but I searched, believe me, I have, I could not find an outdoor LED driver, 12 volt LED driver, that allow me to output some DC volt lower than 12. So this is what I uh, had to come up with. So tonight we'll see how the lights look. And so here we are. The sun is starting to set and the landscaping system has just cut on. Here are the lights. It's not fully set yet, the sun. And these lights appear to be a lot brighter than I remember, although it has been quite a while. I don't know if I'm putting too much voltage to them. The battery pack that came with them died, so there was no way for me to measure exactly how much voltage was actually coming out when it was working. And the literature that came with the, the unit didn't say how many volts out it was supplying and the label on the solar charging unit um, didn't say anything about the voltage out. So I don't know. I may leave it or I may try to dial it down to see if it makes any difference. Here's the rest of the landscaping light. So the project is complete. Um, at this point, um, tell me how I did. Was there something I overlooked? Um, did I compensate for everything? Did I make some wrong assumptions? Only time would tell how long this thing will last. Um, I'm always looking to do a better job. Is there, was there an easier way? Did I overthink it? Let me know. And um, hopefully uh, if you have a product similar to this, this will help you out.